luthier and store manager here at Acoustic Music Works in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Uh, today I'm surrounded by Collings C10 guitars. The C10 is Collings' interpretation of the 14 fret double O shape introduced by Gibson in the uh, early 30s. This style uh, historically has been very popular with blues guitarists, uh, ragtime, singer-songwriters, uh, anybody that wants a lot of punch, a lot of clarity, uh, but won't necessarily get in the way of singing. It's not an overly booming guitar in any way. Um, so today we're going to compare a, a bunch of different tone wood options. Uh, the Collings C10 is, of all their guitars, uh, available to the most options, spec changes, and upgrades. You can get a cutaway, um, standard, uh, non-cutaway version, long scale, short scale, any top wood, any back and side wood that they offer. You can get the uh, standard C profile neck or you can get an OM modified V neck put on it. Um, it really is the guitar that you can you can really customize to almost any purpose you have for it. Deep body, standard depth. Um, I've got eight or nine here. I'm going to play the same song on each just briefly so you can hear some of the different things they do. Um, we're also going to talk a little bit about some of the things that we like about the model, some of the things that are available. So yeah, have a listen.
name's Steve. I work here at Acoustic Music Works. They've asked me to talk about the Calling C10 guitar. It's a Calling C10. What's not to love? It's a classic design that Bill and his team in Austin have uh, optimized, one might say perfected. Uh, it's taken a classic body shape that's comfortable and brought it up to modern specs in every way. We've sold over a hundred of these in every shape and form. We've sold it in maple, this one's maple, torrified maple. We've sold it in mahogany, Brazilian rosewood, koa. We've sold it in deep body, we've sold it in standard depth, short scale, long scale. This is one of those guitars that one person might come in and what suits them is an Indian rosewood guitar with an Engelmann spruce top and short scale and an ultralight gig set of strings like an 11 set up with super low action and very little neck relief. They play it like, a, like an electric guitar, like a city limits. Next guy might come in and for him we're going to end up building a deep body mahogany version with an Adirondack spruce top. We're going to put a belly bridge on it, medium gauge phosphor bronze strings and he's going to flat pick it and it's going to keep up with the dreadnought. We've done it in short scale, long scale, we've done it with a cutaway, we've done cedar top, Engelman top, Sitka spruce top, German spruce top, Adirondack top. We've had a few just wonderful solid top guitars, uh, uh, Koa top, mahogany top, you know, all Koa C10, all mahogany C10, just lovely. We had varnish C10s. We had one very interesting C10 with an SJ bridge that just looked perfect. Everything about this guitar seems right, and I think the best thing about it is a lot of times someone walks in here who doesn't have a lot of experience with handcrafted acoustic guitars. He's an electric guitar player. Usually the first guitar we hand him is a C10. There's something about the standard C neck on a C10 that feels comfortable to an electric guitarist right away. And, and in that way, it, you know, it might be the gateway drug uh, that gets uh, that person started down the road to guitar acquisition syndrome. We're all familiar with that. But more importantly, it's just there's so many different directions to go with this thing. One of my favorite um, goes back a few years now, was the Callings Cowboy, which was a mahogany version of this guitar with the stencil on it. Uh, had the OM style modified V neck, which some people prefer. That gave way to what we call a camper. We sold a lot of C10 campers, which were the uh, square head stock modified V neck, usually on a deep mahogany body, um, variety of top woods. That was very popular for us and just, a, just, just right in so many ways. Um, the other thing that's cool, of course, is Bill has come full circle with this thing. You know, we started years ago talking about vintage L00s and uh, how we could add the calling stability and the perfect intonation and perfect fretwork to that and, you know, retain the vintage vibe but have the modern guitar. And now with the introduction of the C1035 model, Callings is basically... Uh, given us everything we've asked for. You know, a lightly built uh, mahogany guitar that resembles a 30s L00, but plays like a Collins, and is as roadworthy as a Collins. A Collins C10? What more can I say?